he is fearless. He will take a lot of chances with that one and seven uh, in his previous fight. So hasn't fought. Ready for Mario Suazo. And this fight is on. Yeah, I just looked up Dan's record. It was just 11 months ago he won the Fury Amateur belt. He has had five pro fights then. This is number six. And you can talk about activity to be young again. Yeah, very active. And his one loss, Alex, is to, you know, a, a super high-level wrestler in Devin Jackson, uh, who just out-wrestled him for three rounds and was able to, able to pull that one out. Yeah, and, and Jackson, a super athlete, as you said, and, uh, and, and man, that was a tough fight physically to, to fight. He did great in that fight, too. Yeah. And that was an important fight because we wanted to see if Josh could go long into fights, right? Because he was getting some quick finishes there for a stretch as well. And still getting him. His last fight, he, he finished uh, in devastating fashion again. He's always good for an entertaining fight. Yeah, his last fight, he actually threw a high kick, and uh, the guy's hands were up, but it still did enough damage to, to drop him and get the finish. See how this fight plays out. Marta Suazo so tough as well, the 31-year-old. Looking to climb his way back up into contention here in the flyweight division. And Suazo's done a good job finding a home for the low kick a couple times. Then staying nice and low, nice and protected, and like right there covering distance well. Suazo's got a pretty big frame for the weight class, long limbs. But one thing that Josh Van does really well is slide in and out of range. Big right hand there from Van. Yeah, Noah Joshua Van wanted to land in the guard of Mario Suazo, but a big right hand there to, to put Mario Suazo on his back. See what he can do from here. I know I know Josh is going to posture up. Yeah, he's going to posture up, let this go back to his feet. Good right hand there from Suazo as well. And Suazo actually cut a pretty sharp angle from that close guard to go for the armbar, but, but Josh read it and stood up. And almost picked Suazo up with him. Both guys really sharp defensively. Both very aware of what's going on. It's, just, it's funny the pace difference in fights. Like the last fight we saw, a great knockout, but very slow pace. This fight, super fast pace. Damn, this pace. Oh, no. There he goes again. Connect. Left hook drops him. You see Suazo again cutting big angles. Hands on is deep. This is going to be a threatening armbar. This is a deep armbar. We may see a finish here. He's got it. That's very, very deep. Vance doing a good job trying to just clear that elbow line. Fans' right elbow is just maybe two inches deep, and he clears it. Okay, Josh out of the armbar. Good attempt there from Swazo. He's got a good armbar from the close guard. That's the second one attacked in, in just three minutes. Man, good escape from Josh. No panic, which is important. Cause that looked like it was I over. Mean, I'll bet you it hyperextended his elbow. Oh, something I was say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's he's definitely feeling some pain from that. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe not feeling pain in the thick of a fight, but he'll feel it tomorrow for sure. But that arm was definitely stretched out all the way. You see how that impacts his stand up here. Nice little exit right there. Swaz is oh, big Ooh. left hook again. That's what dropped him initially. Big uppercut here from Van. Van's finding a mark for his big shots. Well-time double from Suazo, successful into the open guard of Josh. He needed that. It looked like it was a world of trouble. Yeah. I mean, he was two punches away from maybe even finished. Yeah, and in the fight that Josh lost, that's exactly the formula that was used. Josh was landing big shots. Devin would come in, and he would take him down, uh, and then control him while he was on the ground. And so far, Suazo has tried to do the same thing. Not as much success as, uh, as he, he's, his former opponents have had, but... Doing pretty good at neutralizing Josh Van right now. Under one minute left, round one. Yes, heavy hit, heavy hit, let's go. Man, we've had like four different storylines in round one. <laughs> one first round so far. <laughs> good get up there from Van. As far as we his hands reconnected, but that double is almost inevitable. Another good takedown. Now you gotta wonder how these the the judges are gonna call this first round. I mean, obviously Joshua Van uh, has done more damage. Uh, we assume he's done more damage on the feet, but I mean, got caught in the submission. He's been taken down a couple of times. 
You know what? I I agree there. He did he did knock Suaza down twice. One I think was off a kick slip. The other one was from a left hook. So I give those two knockdowns from Van quite a big edge. If anything, one neutralizes the arm bar. Oh, big right hand to finish the round out. Good round from these guys. Fun pace. That's what you get with the flyweight. You get a fast pace and a, and a lot of good shots thrown. Look at the look at the highlights here in just a second. So you kind of caught the kick him through the right hand. That, that's a knockdown, though. I think that's a, a fair knockdown. Here's the left hook that just slipped right under the guard of Suazo. And there's the arm bar. I mean, that's deep. And, if, and like we have mentioned, you look at Van's face. He didn't panic at all. Was able to clear that elbow line and eventually get back up to his feet. And you see some nice punch combinations here from Joshua Van. You know, that's not the... that's. That's the thing about him, man, is he's not, it's not one punch, you know, knockdown stuff. It's it's the third punch in a four punch combination nice round from Joshua Van. And good things for Mario Suazo also. Yeah, I mean, that was a, that was a fun first round. Yeah. Good. Both guys displayed what they're really good at. Round two, second fight of the night. Want to see if Josh starts using those kicks a little bit more. Yeah, Suazo's standing really, really low. Oh, big left hook again. Man, Van is having a lot of success with that with that lead hook. It's the third time he's done significant damage. Oh, big high kick from Suazo. That's what we like about Van. He literally shook it off. Yeah, Van, not only, you know, a, a, a great striker, but also very, very tough. He can take a punch also. Yeah, you saw Van, he, he thought about going for that guillotine, but he elected to take his arm out and try to try to dig for underhooks, and, which he has now, looking to stuff the head. So, man, when you're having success with a left hook, it's not as much the left hook that's going to finish the fight. It's the left hook hurting them, and then the right hand that's going to put them down. I think yeah, a good adjustment Van could make is to be patient, find the left hook, but just rifle off a straight right right after. Good knee there, working up against the cage. Something we're not seeing Suazo do is utilize that wizard. Josh wanted to, he could body lock and duck right under him. He likes to do damage with knees. Just kind of throws him down. And Van's all over him. Josh's pace is so much fun. That's that high C takedown. Suazo kind of countered the guillotine, didn't really commit to it and gave the takedown up. I wonder, was that a good move by Josh right there? The high C, absolutely. You got to keep your hips in super tight, and you got to instantly either take the back or transition off to a double. But I think Josh felt the, the half-hearted guillotine attempt there from Suazo and was just happy to take the takedown. But like he saw in the first round, he's got to watch those elbows. Like like Van yeah. has to keep his elbows in tight to prevent that potential angle and armbar from Suazo. The reason I'm asking is he's had so much success standing there now in the guard of Suazo. He's still working, is Josh. He's still peppering in some nice shots. Josh is a good wrist ride. Broken pretty quick. But do you mean the, the tactic of going for the takedown? You know what? I, I'm a, a striker by trade. I, I like letting guys stand up when they're hurt. I think that could have been a good choice from Josh, but he knows what he's doing on the ground. Does look a lot more comfortable on the ground, Michael. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, and he, he's dealing with jujitsu right now. He's not dealing with wrestling uh, as much from Mario Suazo. So a little bit easier to deal with. You know, there is, there's definitely some danger there, but, uh, you know, not the control in jiu-jitsu, you know, on the ground that you have with a high-level wrestler. Just past the halfway mark of round two. Yeah, and now Josh getting back up. Yeah, and good arm bars are not. If you're on your back and then you're losing, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. Either you got to be on top or you got to be on your feet. Josh did a good job, really committing to a right hand, missing, but then instantly stuffing an underhook with that left side that he still has. You hear Suazo's corner urging him to throw some more knees. Yeah, you gotta wonder if the elevation is gonna is gonna affect Josh Van at all. You know, fighting out of you know training in Houston, he's dealing with humidity here, elevation there. <laughs> Let's, you don't know how that how it's gonna affect him. Yeah, that will play a significant factor for sure. <laughs> Both guys throwing. So, you know, Josh can use his jab, set up that three, and then just crack a two. Let's see him having success with that combination. 
And Josh smells blood in the water. He is teeing off now. Mario hunching down just a little bit. And that fight is there for the taking for Josh. And he is throwing everything he has right now. Yeah, it looks like the elevation is actually affecting Mario Suazo. <laughs> He's having a hard time standing up there. Of course, when you got the Myanmar Mahler just constantly throwing punches at you, <laughs> very difficult to stay standing. See, it looks like Josh is setting up an anaconda choke. He elects to take the back. I mean, he's going for a calf crush. Oh, look at this. He's going to hit this. Oh, that's going to, he's got that. That's very, very tight. And he yeah. hits the tap. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful submission from Joshua Van. On one of those, Alex, you can't let those go too long. That knee will explode on those calf slicers. But beautiful jujitsu there from, from Joshua Van. Nice finish. I wow. mean, to have the frame of mind to, to think about an anaconda choke, choose to expose the back, you know, step that inside hook, and then sit down to the calf crush. You don't see I mean, props to Van for, again, having the, the peace of mind and the technique to pull off such a high esteemed move. I wonder if that's something they, you know, he's been constantly working on because he saw that opening and took it. That was beautiful. And there it is. There's that finish. And that's all Josh needed, man. What a huge round two win for Josh Van. We style possible, yeah. every way possible. I love it. The evolution.